Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video, we are doing a $50 grocery budget challenge. Yes, Wow, you guys, so I just came out of Aldi. Aldi, so one of my friends corrected me and told me that it's Aldi, not Aldi's. But I just came out of Aldi, let me turn the air down, and I, I almost feel a little teary-eyed because food really is very expensive right now. I just, oh man, I'm so serious. Like I do feel a little teary-eyed because like I, I was raised by a single parent and just can't imagine the struggle that people are having right now. Like I just feel so freaking privileged. I can't even, I know that you can definitely eat for less if you're trying to, you know, if, you're, if you don't mind eating like sugar and flour. I know that, but I also know that sugar and flour like literally are not the best things for everyone. So I just can't imagine individuals that have allergies or, you know, that have to follow, like medically have to follow special diets and can't eat certain things. It's just mind blowing. So um, I'm leaving here and I'm actually going to go to Winn-Dixie, which is like a SC grocers type place you may have it in your area like they have different chains and different brands but they have this thing where when you shop with them frequently you can rack up rewards so I have $14.40 there um, so I'm going there to pick up some source of protein like a meat or like chicken or fish or something for my dinners and also coffee I have coffee at home but I want to be fair in this challenge and try to mainly only eat what I buy so I'm gonna pick up coffee chicken and yeah I think that's it I like to make a note that here I was wanting rice cauliflower however I was looking at the prices and I was like oh my gosh there has to be a better way so I actually went over to look to see if I will possibly buy regular cauliflower and just rice it myself but i had to be honest that is not happening at all it just takes way too much time so the frozen bags were about 10 ounces once i went over to the other section i did find um, these particular bags and they were 12 ounces so i thought that would be a better buy here i was trying to decide what type of protein i will have for the week i initially started with the fish but nothing was on sale so I came back over and I started looking at the different types of chicken. Um, the drumsticks, mm, the chicken breast was too expensive for my budget for this week so I actually found these chicken thighs and I thought that this would be a good deal to use for the week. When it comes to coffee, I try to keep my coffee as clean as possible, meaning I really do try to buy organic. So it took me a while, but I finally found some organic coffee that was on sale for $4.99, so that really helped. So here is our grocery haul. So you guys saw everything that I picked up from Aldi. And that total came to $43.34, just for this like 43.34. So we have, I'll insert the prices into the video. So we have romaine, um, carrots, cilantro, peppers, squash, zucchini, rice cakes, spinach, two bags, 
And then this is balsamic vinegar, two bags of California medley, apples, bag of apples, some bananas, blueberries, salsa, um, a bag of pinto beans, a dozen of eggs from Aldi, also the cucumbers, avocado, and red onions. And then I do apologize. I opened this and started cooking it because the day was kind of like going on. Um, so here are chicken thighs. And this came from Winn-Dixie. The cauliflower rice came from Winn-Dixie. So did the green onions and coffee. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing things and I'll show you guys how I plan to make these meals work. Okay, I need to pause here quickly and say that I spent a total of $20.61 at Winn-Dixie. However, I had $14.40 worth of points to use. So I only spent $6.21 of my cash. And between the $6.21 at Winn-Dixie and the $43.34 at Aldi, I spent a total of $49.00. And 55 cents for this week's grocery haul okay so the first thing that I will be preparing like I've already started cooking the chicken um, I just put this in the air fryer for 45 minutes on 380 so I'll have one piece of chicken for dinner each night and as you guys can see like there's actually plenty like I am preparing six to seven days but there's enough for additional days now i need to cook these then this all came from that one pack okay next i'm going to prep the pinto beans and the serving size on this is one fourth cup so there's like 26 servings in here so i only need seven of these servings so let me go ahead and prep that Do one more. One fourth. Okay, one fourth. So that's seven servings. So that's seven servings. And then look how much we have left. Lots. Okay, let me rinse these. So now I rinse and soak the beans. So my plan for these items are to make a nice stir fry. So I will be having these for lunch. Um, I tend to eat at least like six ounces of vegetables for lunch. So I'm gonna make a nice stir fry and then the beans that are currently soaking, I will use that as the protein and toss it on top of the stir fry. Um, yeah, each day. So that's kind of what lunches will look like. Ways in which I could have saved money was these were two sixty two per bag. I could have just made rice, but I don't eat rice for lunch. I only have like my carbohydrates for breakfast. So, but a way that you could save money is definitely just use rice, and then you don't have to use as many veggies as I did. Like this could be a little excessive for some people, but I love my veg. Okay, so now I'm moving on and I'm preparing my salads for dinners. Usually by default, um, my dinner choice is a salad. Um, I try my best to avoid decision fatigue. So for me, I just know each evening that I'll be having a salad. And before, when I wasn't as concerned about the budget, I would sometimes buy the pre-packaged salads and I found those to be very beneficial. However, in order to cut back um, I was trying to save a little extra money, so I'm prepping my salads myself. 
and also you guys will see here that I'm folding like a piece of paper towel and putting it inside of the container with um, the veggies and the reason I do this is just to absorb some of the moisture and I found in the past that you know whenever I do this my veggies tend to stay fresh and firm for the entire week so that's kind of what I was doing there I do want to add I am not a professional chef like I just don't really care I just try to get the job done I don't overthink it I chop the veggies I don't care what they look like I'm just gonna eat them anyways so that's kind of what was going on here I chopped the cucumbers then the peppers then the onion and here you'll see that I am stuffing my jars so instead of having the pre-packaged salads where I can just dump it into my bowl and enjoy my salad, my goal here was to just go ahead and stuff a few of these mason jars with romaine and lettuce so that in the evenings it would make dinner prep a little bit more easier for me. Um, so I stuffed these with both romaine and lettuce. lettuce. I only use one bag of the romaine that I purchased here in the grocery haul and I ended up using two bags of the spinach. You guys can see I've been meal prepping like crazy. So I wanted to show you guys, I actually have eight bananas and then this bag of apples and the blueberries. So I could have gone without, wait, let's count. Let's see how many apples. Okay, so there are nine apples. So I actually have more fruit than what I need for the week. So I could have cut back and saved some money there. Um, I only need like seven of these, seven of these. Could have gone without this. Okay, so for breakfast, I will have um, two rice cakes with eggs and a little bit of salsa. And then I'll have some fruit. But I did want to share with you guys another alternative that I may have will be peanut butter. So this peanut butter is from my fridge. I did not buy it today, but I may use this um, peanut butter on top of the rice cakes topped with bananas. I love that. Or I may do an apple. Um, we'll see. But I'll show, I'll insert a picture here as to how that will look. I went ahead and opened up the package of the rice cakes because I wanted you guys to see that there are seven in each one. So seven days of the week and then with the eggs I'll have two eggs with um, each serving so that's six which is why I may have the peanut butter for another meal for the protein now for my lunches you guys can see there's plenty there for me to have um, with the cauliflower and the mixed veggies I want to pop in and tell you guys that as I was editing this video I realized that I have missing files. I filmed all of this for you guys, but this is one of the missing files. So what I did here, you guys saw that I did microwave the um, cauliflower. And then after that, I chopped all of these veggies and then I just gently stir fried them or pan fried them in a pan with just a little bit of olive oil. And I seasoned them with salt, pepper and garlic. And yeah, so that's what happened here. And I shredded some of the carrots on top. So this is carrot, zucchini, um, some peppers, and squash. And then I will have beans. I'll actually plate that tomorrow and show you guys what it will look like. Um, because right now I'm having the beans to soak overnight. And then first thing in the morning, I'll throw those in the Instant Pot. And I'll show you guys what my lunches will look like. And again, I don't mind repeating meals. As long as I'm eating things that are nice, healthy, and nutritious, I'm good to go. For dinner, I have six salads here, but I do want to share with you guys that I have an entire bag of romaine remaining. Come over here, I have an entire bag of romaine, another cucumber, 
I have some mixed veggies, so I could have saved a little bit of money. You see that? I also have another package of zucchini, so I could have saved money. And I'll have coffee. Um, there are 12 cups in there. It would be nice for me to say I only have one cup a day, but sometimes I have more than that. Okay, coming back to our salads, I also have the red onion, peppers, and then cucumbers. And I will also make some, um, I don't even know if I can call it guacamole, like avocado with cilantro each day. And I'll probably have not even half of an avocado and combine it with salt and pepper and some cilantro to top on my salads, as well as topping it with some balsamic vinegar. Now, I do have some of this remaining. I'm gonna put this over here because that's where it goes. I do have this one. There's a little left, so I'll probably use this up first just to be transparent with you guys. And then I'll open the other one. So the beans are now done. I definitely use way too much water, but I'm gonna transport them to the container. Here are the beans. Here is my lunch protein for the week. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plate up a few different options just to kind of show you guys a few examples of what my meals will look like. So here are the breakfast combos that I mentioned I may use. Um, the rice cakes with peanut butter and banana on top or apple on top, it's up to you. Um, you could also use like a bagel or toast if you eat those, but because I don't eat flour, I'm using rice cakes. And then here is a combination with um, eggs and salsa. And this is not the salsa that I purchased. I thought I needed to use up the salsa that was already in the refrigerator. So that's why I use that. Now moving on, because it's the next day and I needed to prepare my lunch for work anyways, here I am preparing the cauliflower um, stir fry, putting beans on top. This actually, you guys, this was really good. Like this was so delicious. I've never had this combo together to be honest with you. And here I'm showing that you can either use some soy sauce on top or some salsa. I went with the salsa. Um, and yeah, this was my lunch for every day this week. I actually, I literally ate this every day, but I did run out of beans on Saturday. So that tells me that my serving sizes were probably a little bit too large. Now moving on, here I am preparing my salad for tonight's dinner. Um, that was Monday night's dinner. And I am so glad that I prepped those mason jars ahead of time because coming home from work, it just made everything so much faster and easier for me so I really appreciated that also I want to add that there were two nights that I actually had two pieces of chicken and I believe it were it was on the days that I had longer workouts so I was a little bit more hungry um, also I forgot to record an outro for this video so if you guys enjoy content like this please leave me a comment down in the comment section also don't forget to like share and subscribe I really enjoyed creating this for you guys. It helped me to stay accountable to the meals that I said I was going to eat. So yeah, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!